right, in this example, we're told that we borrow $1,500 from a friend. Okay, I'm a math teacher. Anytime I see a number, I'm going to put it up right away with no context, so $1,500. That we borrow $1,500 from a friend and promise to pay back $1,800, okay, in six months. What simple interest rate will you pay? So first of all, we need to know how much interest we're paying in general. Just what's the amount of interest we're paying here? Well, I can see that I borrowed $1,500 and I'm paying back $1,800. So the amount I'm paying back is the final value of $1,800 minus the initial value of $1,500. So that's going to come out to be $300. In other words, the amount of interest, I, is $300. Okay, cool. They didn't ask for the interest, they asked for the simple interest rate. So remember the formula for interest is I equals principal times rate times time. Well, they gave us the principal, $1,500, that's how much we borrowed. The rate is exactly what they're asking us to find, so of course we don't know what that is, that's going to just stay as the letter R. And the time, they do give us, but we have to be careful. They say six months. So am I just going to put six right here for T? Well, no, because whenever you use these financial math formulas, you have to remember that everything is assumed to be in terms of years. So six months is half a year, but we can get that by just saying that's six divided by 12. Anytime you have uh, a value of months, you're just gonna divide by 12, that's gonna give you the value in years. And we just figured out that the interest we're paying is $300, and that goes over here. So now what we have here is a bit of a formula here that we can figure out what R is. So we have 300 equals 1500 times R times 6 over 12. Well, 6 over 12 is just a half. And half of 1500, that's just going to be 750 times R. Now, to get R by itself, right now this is 750 times R. So to get R alone, I will divide both sides by 750. I'm just doing the opposite. And so whatever 750, I'm sorry, whatever 300 divided by 750 is, that's going to be the interest rate. So let me just throw that in the calculator here. 300 divided by 750. And I'm getting 0.4 for my R. Now, usually whenever you tell someone an interest rate or any kind of rate, you're going to say it as a percentage. So 0.4, if I convert this to a percentage, I'll take two hops to the right. And so I'm getting... 40%. And so there we go. If we borrow $1,500 from a friend and pay them back $1,800, we're ultimately paying $300 in interest, which means if we pay it back in half a year, that we're paying a 40% interest rate. And that is this example.